Hello YouTube, Blender Pretender here with the continuation of the modeling process for this bicycle. This glorious red bicycle that can be seen here. Um, just kidding, that's just the material. Uh, I'm not even sure what matcap stands for, but that's the matcap that's applied to it in the display, not display, in the shading process. So anyways, take that off and it's just a regular dull gray. And maybe, <laughs> maybe when I finish the video today, I'll put it like that because I'm going to focus on doing the basket. So this is the third of, um, of the third video. Uh, the first two, uh, the first one I did the frame. Second one I did the fork and the handlebars. And this one will be dedicated to doing the basket and whatever else I may be able to fit in a reasonable amount of time. With that said, I'm going to continue with the time lapse.
Okay, so I'm gonna stop it there for this one. This, uh, I'm, this video should be shorter <laughs> in terms of the time that I've been uh, doing this. Um, it's pretty much uh, the, the bicycle and the forks, I think, were pretty much a nuisance to me <laughs> while I was trying to model this because I'm basically trying to do a basket that, and I'm going to append to the bicycle. But it's, at least for me, it was uh, longer than I would have liked because the basket itself is not a perfect shape. And so I was, and I was trying to somehow, I am trying somehow to make it look like the basket that's part of that bicycle. It looks huge right now when you look at it in the frame. But uh, ultimately as the details that they're gonna make it look like the bicycle that I'm trying to copy so um, I, it's not done it's in space you know it's just floating in space right now because the connection needs to be you know either the basket moved back which I think that's what I'm gonna do and the connection um, uh, bent a little bit more here the this is the bracket that holds it and then there's the supports down here so a lot of other little work that needs to happen to this but I'm gonna leave this for the basket the process is very simple it was um, uh, using edges from a mesh from starting from polygon mesh using the edges and then shaping them in the way they don't want to and then converting them to uh, curves and the curves are polyline curves and so and then basically doing a little bit of tweaking here and there just to make sure it doesn't look they're, they're not a, the surfaces aren't fully intersecting but yet somewhat intersecting because that's where they're welded together um, okay so that's where I'm gonna leave it I'm going to try to angle this in such a way that it looks like I'm actually getting somewhere for the screen and let me end it T make it look official so this is the product that's gonna go uh, for this video and I'll continue then with the other stuff um, like connecting it and doing the fender and the other stuff that connects to the basket on the future videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.